with Dan Electro. <laughs> Rob and I have never gone near Dan Electro before in a video review. No. Um, possibly for good reason. Um, how do you turn? <laughs> Perfect. Sorry. Possibly for good reason. <laughs> it's a weird brand, isn't it, really, Dan Electro? Is it, is it, it's cool for being a bit sh uh, Lee, how could you say that? I mean, it's an iconic, it's like Vox to me. It's an iconic, proper brand. It's been used by loads of prestigious artists. Uh, it has its own kind of unique sound, its unique look. And, you know, if you, I know. I, I... If you like a really nice feeling, perfect playing, you know, ergonomic, perfect design, you don't want a Dan Electro. See, that's, that's where I'm at. It's like... See, see, I don't know much about Dan Electro, but I know its roots come from the sort of the 40s and the 50s and predominantly as a catalogue guitar, you know, in, Ameri in American kind of like catalogues like Sears and Roebucks and all that kind of stuff. Well, there are all sorts of little things that, that niggle. For example, you've got inside and outside, yeah? You've got volume yeah. and you've got tone. But if you turn... Uh, <laughs> it turns the other one yeah, as well. Yeah, it turns the other one. So Brilliant. You, if you turn the tone, you turn the volume as well because they kind of locked I, a little bit. I but... went on Wikipedia and I went famous... Dan Electro guitar, you know, users. Jimmy Page. It's everyone. Yeah. It literally everyone from Jimmy Page, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Jeff Beck, Mark Knopfler, literally through to Kirk Hammett. I mean, it's like what? It's everyone. So I'm kind of, but I do think it's that. I mean, you're you've been a professional guitar player. You, you know, is there ever that thing where the producer or you might just go? I just need that sort of it's a bitch what? sound. No, but I, they is don't it, sound, is it, no, 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 no. You can't say okay. It, they not don't the sound, sound. What? But that they have a very unique good sound, but they're just a little bit. They're they're kind of what? no. They're just they're, they're just affordably made, and the brand elevates yeah. them. But, but I mean, no. Not producers have always said to me, "Have you got a Telly, or have you got a Les Paul, or have yeah. you got something a bit different?" When you put your three layers of guitar down, they never go. Have you got a Dan Electro, but. You know, lipstick pickups, but, but, but these are, hard these are, tails. These are made in Korea. They're not cheap. <laughs> Lee, you've got it in for this brand. Well, no, but but in a like um, not in a bad way. Like no. I, in a way of that kind of, you know, I, I'm just trying to think of another. Um, <sighs> It's like, it's like sometimes when you get those little small valve amplifiers that, you know, when you drive them hard and they do sound a bit like a wasp and a jam jar, but it, because it's a certain... Like a pig nose. Yeah, because it's like a certain sound from a certain genre that has been used. It therefore, you know, it's authentically... I'm going to stop saying the S word in this video because I suspect it'll probably get beeped out, but it's affordable. No, right. except yes. that it's not even that affordable anymore. No. <laughs> yeah, no. it's like, it was affordable. No, I mean, you have to work to play them. Um, and and, I, and I, that's Danish Pete's uh, actual, actual one. So I'm going to ask Danish Pete can through I, the glass. Can I have a, look, have a little go on It's it? like, why do you own a Dan Electro he was, he was uh, famous it. Danish Pete? No, exactly for that reason that you say that you need something different when you do a session. So it's just, you just want something, something a bit that odd. Sounds different. Set up a slide. Right. Right. Is that, is that sort of broken effect yeah, sort that's... of built in? What I find endearing about I mean, this is that the bridge poles are just a pair of screws. Let me see. Yeah, it literally, they're just, it's someone's gone down to their local B&Q, which of for screws you in America is like a hardware screwed store. Screwed into the body. Yeah. But this plays good. So look, uh, we don't, there's, a, there's, a, there's quite a range of guitars in the Dan Electro range. They're all um, nowadays just repros of guitars from, from you know, bygone eras. Uh, We've got uh, some single cuts baritones. We've got double cut sort of regular scale length. We've got the 12 string. There's a there's something called a longhorn, which I think is only available in a bass. But if um, if Rory puts one of those on screen now, you can see it's kind of cool. They've got those kind of again, a bit rubbish sort of sunburst kind of finish. But again, where it's like because it would have been done cheaply in the day, but it's now got that kitsch kind of. Right. Vibe from the 50s. So, look, you know, I, I don't want to... 
I'm loving the reversal of roles where you've become mega bad cop and I've become I'm not, like, I'm not being bad cop. I think it's we like, need to pay respect to this brand, Lee. They're a, it's a great brand. Being bad cop would be to say they were really great in their day and now they're rubbish. Mm, All right? And this, is just, this is just going, they were always affordable and a bit kooky in their day. Yes. And that's kind of all they are. They've just, they've just stayed to that. So look. Oh, this actually is MDF. Who? Yeah, I mean, I don't even, I don't know what it's made from. It's got this kind of faux leather you can see through the, stripe through the crack there. It's around just, the outside. Yeah, probably. It's just MDF. It's, just MDF. it's a bolt on neck. Um, it's got a metal nut. I don't know what it is, like sort metal. of aluminium that's or something. But, but who doesn't want a 12 string? Do Zeppelin again. Actually, to be honest, I'll tell you what is good, probably even a bit too low on this, is the action is amazing on this for a 12 string. Is it really? Because on yeah. all of these, it's really awful. <laughs> yeah, try it. So look, that's the 12 string. And I've got to say, absolutely a million percent, I would put these guitars in the... It's not your first guitar, it's not your second guitar. You know, you tick your box off, you get your Strat, you get your Telly, you get your Les Paul, it's you get your you know, you guitar. Get, it's, it's the one you just go, I need something else. Bit of John McLaughlin. Music. We're picking up guitars and we are writing music. Never play lead on the 12 string, but I only did because Lee wanted to play, play rhythm. Play the other baritone. So, Joss, our behind the cameraman, internal speed demon, just commented on that last little thing I was playing that just went, it just sounds like every Quentin Tarantino movie ever. And it kind of does, it's that sort of, again, I wouldn't normally pick up a regular tuned six string and play that kind of,
there we go. Dan Electro. Dan Electro. What, what do you think? Is Lee too harsh? Am I too kind? Are they, are they one to... Sometimes, you know, sometimes something <laughs> is what you need. <laughs> you know, you know when, you know the saying, and girl, I don't know if blokes say this, but girls say this. You know they say they fancy a bit of rough. You, you know, it's yeah. like, it's that, I think it's that. I think it's, it's a sort of, it's our inner thing going, you know, I fancy a bit of rough and you just sort of go, I want to pick something. I, in fairness, I don't know. The, the, I've always kind of liked it when, like once every six months or maybe even less than that, a baritone or something weird will come up. And it definitely does inspire you to go, oh, just go, not even subconsciously, you just sort of end up going down a different musical path to what you'd normally do. And I like that. Yeah. The 12 string is flipping great. I mean, you know what? I, I liken this to... I liken this to a Harley Davidson motorbike. Right. I respect the brand. Yeah. I think they look kind of cool, but I would never own one. I've been watching them. I, I liken this to a Mickey Mouse watch. You kind of, you know, it's kind of not going to keep the greatest time, but there's something kind of cool and quirky about wearing one. The first watch I ever owned yeah. was a Mickey Mouse watch. Mm. Yes. You know Mickey's got a Dan Electro watch. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, there you go. Anyway, I've been mean, the captain. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.